Timer is gone. You gotta intro it. Go. I have to intro it? Yeah. Okay, this is a special edition. It's not the man don't care. I'm just used to the man don't care intro. Okay, so. Um, we're doing a this movie is, review. This is a branch off of the Man Don't Care podcast. This is a, a timeline, you know, like on Loki. Do you watch Loki? Yeah I, yeah, I I get the world. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, this is an alternate timeline where the Man Don't Care does movie reviews. Oh yes. Featuring star director. <laughs> Introduce yourself. What's up, to guys? your audience that already knows you? What's up? My name is Crystal, Crystal Rose, and um, yeah, we're here to do. A little review of Leave the World Behind. The on best Netflix. movie of the world. E- and I'm Oxtail. Who are you? I'm Ron. I'm Ron. That's my... I'm going to go by Ron. You're not going to go by Oxtail Poppy? Well, people already know. They're going to look at him and be like, oh, it's Oxtail Poppy. Mm, Mr. The guy's becoming the Keith Lee. Oh, relax. Food reviews and relax. in. Relax. The man's telling me how he goes places and people are recognizing him. Like, oh, you I food mean, food it's food not food often food. they see a big black guy with a nerdy glasses, you know? So. There's a lots of big black guys with nerdy glasses nah, walking around. Not in place. the GTA. Y'all wearing scully caps and like... Do you, do you know how many black men wear scully caps? Ten. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that's like the black man uniform in the, GT- in the GTA. It's the starter kit, scully caps, and glasses. Okay, okay. Let's talk, let's talk about the starter kit for a, a terrible movie. You know what? Is that where you're going to go? Is that what you're... you're I'm just saying in? like... Okay, so the movie we're talking about, what's the name of it again? Leave the World Behind. Leave the World Behind. They should have leave this tape behind. Like Okay, so let me just first start off with... Um, uh overall impressions personally um i liked the movie i really liked the movie until the end until the end until the end are we obviously there's gonna be spoilers so just spoiler alert but it's been out for a while so hopefully i mean you should have seen it by now but i really like we're we're gonna try to keep it as much chronologically as we can but like we're gonna you know, go all over the place. It's the first time doing this. It's going to be hard to... Well, I guess... Yeah. I guess it's going to be hard to review it chronologically. We'll try. We'll try. Um, but your Because overall... I have different thoughts on it. All right. So your overall thoughts. What do you think? Overall, How did you like the movie? Because remember, I'm a, also a... Hopefully the mic is right here. I'm also a director, an actor. So I feel like when I review films, mm-hmm. I... It's hard for me now, as much as I would love to just view it from a purely com- consumer standpoint. Yeah. It's hard for me to do that because I'm thinking about the lighting. I'm thinking about the sound design. I'm thinking about different shots. I'm thinking about performance. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about all those things. So personally, and for me... So I, you're, you're more like a, a professional standpoint you're not like the rotten tomatoes people your imdb i mean i don't i don't know about that i don't know what the rotten tomatoes i but the rotten tomatoes is regular yeah the regular people. regular you know i am both i am both people. i'm definitely both because i watch it from from a purely consumer standpoint but i also watch it mm-hmm. like from a i do this type of standpoint but um i would say um you liked it. I liked it up until the end. I liked it because it captured my int- attention all the way up to the end. Really? And me, I am a person that has, I, like, my attention span is short. very short. So I feel like maybe that's why I gravitate more towards thrillers or, like, psychological thrills or sci-fi type of So what, what, what do you call, what, what is this classified as? This thriller? is a thriller. I would, this is classified as a thriller. Sure. Okay, Why? So, what did you classify so it? So I'll tell you my overall thoughts on this this film. I like a lot of the shots that they used in this film. Mm-hmm. I like the I like the some of the dialogue, but I thought this movie it is it was this teetering, teetering on it on like it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good, and then it just ended, and you're just like, what the hell? So. So I feel like I, your stance is like the same as mine. You liked it up until the end. 
No, because I think it started like up here, uh -huh. and it just like kept like it's like a hill and gully, uh -huh. and then it just nosedive. Like the movie, it was it started off way too slow for me. I didn't get into it until like the forty eight minute mark, and then I'm like, oh wait, what is happening? Is it what? Is this aliens? Is it attack? Like uh -huh. is it? Is it robots? Like, I'm like, is this iRobot? First of all, who directed it? I don't, I don't remember the director. It, it, it gave me, it gave me M Night, M Night Shyamalan. What's his name again? M Night Shyamalan. And M Night Shyamalan. I'm gonna look up the director. Like this was Daylight Shyamalan. Like I don't know. <laughs> Not Daylight. <laughs> Daylight Shyamalan directed this. Sam S S Mail. What did he direct? Um, I'm not sure what else he directed. He directed also mm, movies that I haven't watched before. Any notable? No, Gaslight, Angel, Angel Line. Yeah, I don't know. Risk. This is probably his most notable movie. Mockingbird. Mockingbird? Like the book? To Kill a Mockingbird? No. Um, what's, I don't what's, know. What's his name? Sam Esmail. I think this is his most notable film. Mm -hmm. But either way, um, I like the sound design. I really like the way that they use the sound in this film, the music. Oh, he did I, He did Mr. Robot. Did he? Oh. No wonder. It did kind of give me like a Mr. Robot type of vibe. Oh, okay. I was looking at... I, didn't, I should have looked at IMBD. I was looking at a different website. But... Um, the sound, I really like the way that they use the sound in mm -hmm. this film, and I feel like the sound really played a part in... Oh, your battery on that one. I feel like the sound really played a part in um, capturing my attention. Mm -hmm. It really played very well with um, helping to keep the suspense going. So let's, let's start off with, like, the actors or actress or actors. Julia Roberts... Marsh mm -hmm. Mahershala Ali. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, Kevin Bacon, right? And then we have variant Kevin Bacon, aka Ethan Hawke, <laughs> and then two little Pitney. Well, three little Pitneys. <laughs> three little Pitneys. Um, how, how how would you like? How would you view the Julia Roberts acting in this movie? Well, I mean, I feel like Julia Roberts is an overall solid actor. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think this film, yeah, I feel like all the performances were really good, to really? be honest. I don't think the film really called for any type of really outstanding, like, gut-wrenching, pouring out your... I don't think it, the film called no, for any no of that No method acting needed? It's not even that. <laughs> I just feel like it didn't really call for all of that. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like it was pretty, like, in terms of their... Um, like reactions and stuff in terms of not the scenario that they were in because obviously the scenario that we're in isn't super realistic mm -hmm. but i mean like it wasn't like um it wasn't like a super dramatic type of Definitely. film that yeah. required them to deep dig deep down in the depths of their belly to like bring out some strong emotions is she still an a-list actor yeah yeah. I don't know. I think Margot Robbie probably took her spot. No, nah, no. Nah, she's still an A-list actor. I feel like once you pop in the early 2000s and you're considered an A-list actor and during that time, you're like solidified as an A-list actor. Okay, random. Julia Roberts or um, Angelina Jolie? Who's better? Who has a better catalog? It's funny because I don't really know a lot of their films, but I would say... You ain't seen Wanted? Um, you see, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I would say maybe. Um, is Angelina Jolie. Angelina before? Jolie is probably has a better catalog. I'm even looking, but I'm looking at. And you said, is Julie Roberts still an A-list actress? Of course she is. I'm looking at her She's IMDb right now. Yeah. Look at all the films that she, projects that she has coming. Look at all these that I she has mean, coming. I'm Oh no! It means something. Trust me. It's probably another, as an like, actor. Oceans, Oceans as an 13. actor, if you're an actor out there watching this, you know how much work goes into just even booking, booking a project. Something. So this girl, Julia Roberts, has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen projects that are that are Coming. in development. 
that are coming out, okay? She's definitely an A-list actress, okay. though. What do you think about Mahershala? Mar Mahershala Ali, is, he's one of the best. One of the best actors out there. And um, I feel like he's very, like, intentional with the type of roles he plays and takes I bet on. He wish, but he wish he didn't um, sign up for Blade. Yes. Did he sign up for Blade? Yeah, he did. Fine. It's, it's, yeah. it's filming right now. Um, it's still, why? No, it's, not, it's, still not, it's been delayed like 20 million times. Yeah, but it's gonna it's gonna come out eventually. It's gonna come out. All right, so let's get in more into the the movie. I think it starts off with like uh, people on the beach, like a family driving to like um, this Airbnb, like they rent out a cottage Airbnb yeah. for the weekend. Yeah. Um, and then Julia Roberts, I forgot her name in the show. She was talking about how you know getting away from the city is good and blah blah blah. Right. Yeah. Um, she plays Amanda. Amanda. Um, Talk about the scene with the the boat. Like, when you saw the, the boat crashing in into the... That scene the annoyed me because I'm just like, we're in 2003, going into 2000 and... We're in 2003? <laughs> Yo, we're 50 in... Cent just off the album yesterday. <laughs> we're Many in... men. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're in 2023, uh -huh. going into 2024. Mm-hmm. And I was like, why are the graphics that bad? You, have you seen Old? Yes. That scene reminded me of Old. I, I was like, why are the graphics that bad? I don't understand. This is a Netflix film. Yeah. Produced by the Obamas. You have oh, A-list actors in it. What? So did they blow all the budget on paying the actors? Because I didn't understand why mm -hmm. the graphics were that bad. That Oh, obvious. talk about the, the deers, right? The deers, the boat coming up the, onto the to the beach. The plane. It looked like a 2012 Yo, video computer PC Grand Theft video Grand game Theft graphic. Auto, Grand Theft Auto 6 would never. Like, I was like, come on, guys. Like, in the age of AI? Yeah. And, yeah, that part really disappointed me. That part, like, Jurassic, took, Jurassic took Park, me out. Jurassic Park had better animals than, like, this movie. That, that it was took like me out ages ago. It took me out. It took me out. I was just like, come on, this is horrible. And then the way that they were running away mm -hmm. as the boat was coming, I was just like, gosh, this looks so fake. <laughs> I'm like, this looks so fake. I know the graphics was terrible for that. I was but like, did you like when you saw the boat, what did you think was happening? With, but that's the thing. At that time I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I I didn't know what was going on, and I think that's what was keeping my attention so much. And I think that's why they were, that film was good with it because you didn't you didn't know what was going on, mm -hmm. you couldn't understand what was going on, and mm -hmm. they were playing at playing on so many different angles. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I was just like, ooh, like what's gonna happen next? Because like I have no <laughs> clue what's gonna happen. Like yeah. I have no clue what's going on. You know, when Mahershala and um, I think her name is Mela, Mehala, mm -hmm. that plays the dollar. Mm -hmm. Or my hello, I don't know how to pronounce her name. But um, when they arrive and oh, then... Oh, talk about, yeah. So he arrived, was that the day after, the night after, or the same night? I think it was like the same Like a couple days night after. Or like the following night. So tell me, be honest. I know Mahershala Ali is like, I guess he's a good looking guy or whatever. But if you rent an Airbnb, right? And the host pulls up to your Airbnb and say, this is my house. Can I sleep in the basement? Are you letting him in? No, because if I don't know what you look like, I don't know who you are. I'm not just letting you in. I thought that scene was so, like, not the scene terrible, but, like, him expecting him to let him in. Like, yeah, I don't want to drive to my hotel or whatever. I, I live in, I, this is my house. I just want to stay in the, the, the help quarters or whatever he said. The basement. The basement. The butler's quarters or whatever. I'm like, like, what is he thinking? I, I was, again, like, I didn't know what the movie was. I didn't watch the trailer or anything. So I'm, I'm just like, yo, what is going, up, going on? Is this a, was, is it going to be a slasher movie all of a sudden? Like, well, yeah, that's, like that's, what that's, is going on? That's why I was, like, intrigued. I'm like, what is, who are these people? Yeah. That first thing made you think, like, okay, they're, they're scammers. They're not really the owners of the house. Like, they're trying to pull one over. Like, who are they really? And, and, and then his daughter, it was his daughter, right? Yeah. I think they should have casted somebody else. Like who? Somebody more that would look like his daughter. I'm assuming the wife is white or... Dr. Umar would make Or mixed. That's what Even I'm assuming. Even if. He looks like he has some strong genes. Like, 
it's not no she and jeans. You know what I mean? She and <laughs> she and it's not she and it's not fashion over. It's like some strong <laughs> old school denim. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> the one that Brett Favre used to advertise. Oh my god! <laughs> but like that that scene when then um was Julia Roberts being a Karen or Karen? No, she was doing what any reasonable person would do. I don't know you. You're yeah. coming in the middle of the night. I'm pitting me upstairs. Why, why? Yeah, my kids are upstairs. I don't, like, why would I let you in? Why would I let you in? Mm. But I mean, like, there. she was slightly racist when she was like, oh, they don't, <laughs> they don't look like they own this house. Well, what does the well, owner of this it, house look like? Fix your mic a little bit. Like, what does is, what is the owner of this house it's supposed to look like you know, so mm. that part was a little bit like, oh, okay, maybe she's. Prejudiced. I mean, is the how is it? Was it the Hamptons? Like, where was this? I know it's like outside of New York. Outside of New York, proper. I don't know. Probably maybe where Tony Soprano lived or something, because it was across the. It was across the bridge. The bridge. Yeah, I don't know, but I was just like, mm, okay. yeah, she was being a little bit uh, anti. Well, not anti. That's never mind. But, so yeah. then, and then the other part was like, okay. When the daughter was, when they were downstairs finally, and the daughter was like, oh, um, we need to get them out of here. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, yeah, okay, he offered, what's going on? And he offered to pay, like, reimburse half the money or yeah. some shit like that. Yeah. So that part, that whole part was like, I was like, okay, I don't know if these people really are who they say they are, but I mm -hmm. guess we'll see as the film progresses. So that was, like, keeping me on my toes, and then... You know, as the film was progressing, and then, you know, the whole thing with the deers and everything, that part I didn't really get. That part did the deers happen before? When did the deer part happen when the, they pulled up with, in front of the, the, the child, the daughter? When a whole, a whole bunch of them pulled up? Mm hmm Oh, no, 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 like the first instance with the deer. The first incident in, instance was, I think, like, right away when they first got there. They were there. And then the second instance when all of them pulled up was like, I can't, I don't know if it was before or after the noise. I mm. think it was before the noise. And they all just pulled up and they were just staring at her. But yet, apparently, she was the only one that could see them or something like that. I don't, was it? I don't know. There was this. So, the, and, then, and then afterwards, this is kind of like where the film was kind of. I feel like it was conflating too many ideas or too many genres. Mm. Cause then a part of me was like, is this supposed to be a paranormal? Movie? That's what I'm saying. I couldn't figure out like what was going on. Cause again, I don't watch trailers. So I'm like, okay, is this an invasion? Is this gonna be a uh, uh, attack on a war of the worlds type of situation? Like what is going on? Like, and it just, it was too much of a slow burn all the way up until the like, like 40 oh, wow. something minutes. 18 minutes already. 18 minutes already? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we. And then, um, do you want to continue? No, no, continue. Yeah, yeah, continue. Um, and then also the part where, like, um, they were watching the news, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden the dominoes just fell on its own, too, on the table. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, okay, I was like, okay, what is actually really going on? Like, is this some weird... Um, instances that was making me wonder like what's actually going mm. on um and then you know um just but i'm like okay let me just still continue to watch and you know see what what's what's going on and again like i said the music really drew me in mm. i really liked how they um the sound design um just like how they would use the music to blend certain scenes together or to cut off or whatever. Like how? Like how? What do you mean? I don't know how to describe it. Like, just the way that they used sound in the film, I thought was very smart, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, and then um, the other thing that I found weird was... The random Spanish lady. Oh, yeah. Okay, so when what happened to make him try to... I guess the the network wasn't working or whatever. The phones, no messages, can't get any um, signal out. And then uh, I guess Julia Roberts, her phone got a message saying there's an emergency, national security emergency. Yeah. And then the, the he, Ethan Hawke or Kevin Bacon variant 
decided to like drive out yeah. to go go into the town to see what's happening, and then he drove and saw a nice Latin lady or a Spanish lady or whatever. Did do you did they give a translation on yours? Because I didn't see a translation on mine. No, there's no translation. But which I think was was that good? I think that was. It smart. added to the suspense. It added to the suspense, and it added to you know the fact that we still didn't know what was going on. Sometimes films do is the audience member audience might know more than the characters. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought it was uh, smart that the audience didn't know any more than the characters knew. Mm-hmm. So that so by them making us not understand what the Spanish lady was saying, I think that was still it smart. Kept, it kept us in there like, um, like I said, that's that suspense. Like, what is going on? What is yeah? She like we still we were going along the ride with the characters. Like we didn't know any more than what the characters knew, which is I think was was which which was good. Like it kept us in suspense. Did you did you did you think the the like, again like I didn't know what was going on? Did you think the kids had some sort of like paranormal activity, super strength going on, or like mm-hmm. sixth sense? Because I'm like the girl keeps looking at the deers. The deers were stopping and watching her, and I'm like, what is going on? Again, I was just trying to figure out, okay, what is going on? I don't think he, they had any paranormal act, insight or anything. I just. I just don't really understand the the deer thing, but apparently the the overall theme of this of this movie is it was I guess it's I don't know if it's sending some subliminal messages about you know outside forces that are trying to you know attack the U.S. and they're sen- they're sending in different you know tactics to kind of divide the U.S. and mm-hmm. all the different things like that's kind of like. Yeah. Okay, now it is blue. Oh, you pressed. Oh, it was yeah, flashing yeah, yeah. red. Um, Outside forces. Like who's yelling like that? Um, <laughs> like all these different um, outside forces, like tactical warfare to like break down the American economy and mm-hmm. rata to that. I think it was interesting that it was produced by Michelle and Barack Obama. Do you think that's whistle like some sort of whistleblowing that they're doing? Whistleblowing for what though? Saying the world is gonna end or something. The cabal I don't know what the, the, I just saw it online. Cabals and all these thung stuff, Illuminatis. But the thing is America's not the world. Yes it is. You know, Americans love to think that the world is America. America's not the world. America is the world. America is the world. Anyways, um, so I don't know what kind of I don't know what kind Cause of because he's because he, he the I guess the overall theme in the movie is like a war like invasion happening. He's used to be the president of the United States. He's saying that technology is all bad and shit, and this is what is gonna happen. I mean, it is it is a scary thought though to think that you know that we could, we've become so dependent, dependent on technology that literally, and because you know how the other day they were saying how um something something's gonna come and hit the globe and it's gonna knock on the internet for Excuse a me? couple of months. When was this? They were they've been reporting this. They've been reporting this. Oh, they better call Bruce Willis. Um, they were saying that some. Meteor or something is gonna come and uh, get Bruce Willis the, on the phone. Hit the earth and then Ben Affleck. The internet's gonna be knocked out for a couple months or whatever. So I don't know if this film had you know was trying to play on that, but yeah. um, I feel like we are very dependent on technology and the internet, and it is a little bit unnerving Mm -hmm. it is a little bit unnerving because literally like a flick of the switch and you are not connected to anything literally yeah but i i i I can attest everything is so dependent on it i can attest to that i grew up in jamaica when we had hurricanes and everything went off i read about you done 
Like, it's a little bit scary if you think about it. But quick question. What was that sound? Because remember, like, there was like a s- alarm sound going off. Apparently that was like sonic, a sonic attack, I think. Sonic attack from whoever was invading the yeah. country? Yeah. Oh. And what That's was the... Remember when after Ethan um, left the Spanish lady, mm-hmm. there was like these red flyers and smoke and all that stuff. Yeah, and it said, um, "What did he say on that?" Death to America. Death to America. Or at least the son said, "Like, oh, I recognize what this is from a video game. Is a death to America." But that was from like it was written in Arabic or something. I can't remember. <gasps> no, they didn't. I think it was written in Arabic. I can't remember what he, they said it was written in. They but went, then somebody they went the else, 24 out? But then somebody else was saying, oh, we saw the same thing in a different section, but that was written in Korean or something like that. So it's making them wonder, okay, who's really the one attacking them? So it's like the Avengers of anti-Americans just attacking people? I guess so. That's what they're trying to um, do in prop- propaganda? That's crazy. I guess should've, so. They should have made it aliens. You should have made it aliens. I mean, then it wouldn't be realistic, and then nobody would actually take it seriously. See, that's the problem. That's why they're going to invade. I'm telling you. No one would actually take so, it seriously. So after he brought home the f- flyer, they decide to, Julia Roberts, Ethan Hawke, they decide to pack the kids up in the car and decide to try to hit the freeway to head back to the city. And there was only one road back to the city, and apparently... Elon Musk pulled up with his gang and just parked up everything in the, the road. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What was your thoughts when you saw like the whole gang of Tesla in the middle of the road? Again, I was just like, okay, what's going on? Um, I'm like, is people are only people driving electric cars? Like, is that the only thing people are driving nowadays? And only Tesla too? Like, they couldn't have some. Oh, I don't remember the other cars. Ford. I don't know if they were all Tesla, but maybe they were. I can't remember, but mm. yeah. And then how they were saying like the Teslas were being rerouted from. I don't know where the heck they were being routed from. Because like, they're like self-driving, I guess. Yeah. The news report, there was a news report like two days ago that they're recalling like however millions of well, Teslas. Yeah, that was just for a software update though. No, they said because they said it was because it's like affecting the self-driving thing. No, no, it was just a, again propaganda. I'll tell you, the Obamas are good. They're good. Why would you need to recall for a software update? Because it's a smart car. I don't know. Same reason why, if you have to go to the app store to update the software. Why would you need to recall it? Because they can Tesla. The, the anti- uh, Tesla sends sends updates to their cars all the time. Why do you need to recall it? Because maybe this Norton antivirus they're going to put in there is, like, a lot different. That doesn't make sense. You don't think so? Tesla has made their car so they can send updates to the car whenever they want. Mm -hmm. They can... They have a self-driving feature. It has a feature where, you know, people don't even pay off their Tesla. Then it can drive itself back (laughs) to the lot. Yeah. So they can send all these things to the de- Tesla remotely, however they set it up. Maybe so the, why the, would they actually need to bring the, back the cars cause, physically? Because this the file size might be bigger. That doesn't make sense. This is the, this is a software, larger, not hardware. They need a larger. SD this is card. software, not oh, hardware. No, so the Tesla fact po- that the fact that they Tesla the fact that they had to recall it is obviously something to that. So. But anyways. <laughs> well, yeah, like my thing is when I saw it, I was thinking like, yo, like what's up with Tesla's McAfee security? Like, like why are they not up to date? Like what's up with their VPN? Like why all the cars are just like ramming? But after the movie, I found that, oh, it's a smart, it's, it's a smart attack. So they programmed the cars to basically block the, the um, exits to all the different places around the city. So nobody can leave and then they just attack whoever was attacking them. But I still thought it was weird. I thought it was weird that Julia Roberts, instead of run to the um, passenger side, she decided to take the driver's side and tell the man to run to the 
um, passenger princess side. She didn't believe her man could get the job done. <laughs> it wasn't a masculine man. I don't know. She didn't believe he could get the job done. I get, I guess, which was he did. You know what? You're onto something. He didn't believe in it. She did not believe in her man because after that, I believe her and Mar- Mahershala were like at the table and they were talking, and he was, you know, talking about all the situation that was going on. Did did he, was he giving off like a spy vibe? Or, like, somebody in the know? Mahershala? Yeah. Well, he he knew something was going on. Mm. He, cause he Ch- was giving... the mic closer. He knew something was going on because he kept giving, like, hints here and there, here and there. Like, oh, mm. I want to get the full information. I want to get da 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 mm. So he knew something. I remember he said because he worked... One of his clients yeah. worked for something, something, something that is privy to these type of... Yeah, the defense he knows a guy that knows a guy so he's he's he has an idea of something that's going on and then um so he was able to put two and two together much faster than everybody else Mm -hmm. but i don't know he 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 was kind of given like he was in the know i was still trying to figure out like again what is fully going on? Are we gonna see some attacks? Are we gonna just? Is this just gonna be dialogue? Is this no country for old men? Like, I was just trying to figure that. You part were trying out. to see if it was gonna be an action movie. Not an action movie, but is there gonna be any action? Meaning, like, when I say action, I don't mean like fighting or like. Are we gonna get to a point where they like reveal certain stuff to us instead of still being like mysterious the whole movie, like old? Yeah. Or like, I, well, per, he directed Mr. Robot, so that makes sense because it was all like, like, like in the gray area type of situation going on. And I'm Mysterious. not, I'm not mad with films being like that. Cause like I said, it really caused, like for me, I like that because it makes you think. I don't like when everything is given to you mm-hmm. right away. Like to me, that takes away the, um, the enjoyment of watching something when yeah. they ha- they give you all the answers, they give you everything like right away. I mean, like, you, you don't, don't have really to give, a, give all the answers, but at least give me two on the Scantron. But like, so they revealed they revealed what was going on after Mahershala was in the car with the with the dude, and was just like, "Oh, are you well, gonna are you gonna are you gonna be with me or whatever?" Before you get to there. The worst part of the movie, for me, I'll tell you the worst part of the movie. When Mahershala and Julia Roberts were listening to music. That was the worst part for you? It made no sense. How do you go from, (laughs) how do you go from who is this N-word to who is this (laughs) N-word? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you go, like, he's like hugging her and like, we're married. How do you fall for the guy in Gone in 60 Seconds? Yeah, that part didn't... It didn't make no sense. Yeah, that part it was It didn't like... make no sense. What, what song were they li- Oh, and to top it off, the song they were listening to, wasn't it Next? Next. Um, They made... Uh, every time I hear the song, I sing, Why you always lying? But wasn't it one of those songs? I can't remember that. I think... It, hold on, let me see. I can't remember, but like, yeah, that part was, that scene was. Yes, it was next. Baby, that that song? I was so excited, yeah. Oh, wow. I I was looking, I'm like, bro, what is this? Step up? Save the same. (laughs) (laughs) Like, Julia Roberts and Marshall, I step up. (laughs) Save the last dance. (laughs) Like, I was like, oh my gosh. I wanted to stop the movie there. I think this is when I messaged you. I'm like, yo, what is this? <laughs> yeah, that part was that part. This was is what I messaged you. I'm like, what is this? And then after like the daughter and the husband were together. He was giving creep vibes. No, he wasn't. No, he he, he kind of was. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Um, but like the daughter and the husband were together, and then I was like, okay, this is weird. You see? And then weird-ish. I think were the kids did the kids disappear at that time or were they upstairs? No, they were upstairs in the the room. I think. Oh yeah, because the son was sick at that time. He was getting. Was this sick. was this after he he lost? He had. Uh... I think he was getting sick at that time. Like he, I think he was sleeping upstairs. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then the sound went off. And then, 
I think. I can't yeah, remember. when they're at the pool with the, the, the light. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I was just like, yeah, that, that part is weird. I didn't really understand it. And also, like, your wife is missing. I know you can't get a hold of her, but like, is, is that is that, that that's like that's the it? headspace you're in? To me, if I if I can't get a hold of my loved one at all, like I'm trying everything mm-hmm. possible to try to get a hold of them. Like I'm not gonna be there dancing up with next <laughs> next man wife, <laughs> you know. That part was where I'm like, yo, what what is going on? Like, can he get me to some aliens or some shit? Instead yeah. of getting me some some love triangle, like, nah, that was weird. And he did seem a bit more concerned with helping out the other kid that was getting sick than trying to find answers to where his wife might have been. Yeah, and then um, I think after that is when they woke up in the morning and then the kid was losing his teeth. Yeah. That part was like weird too, because I didn't know if it was like a like a dream sequence. Oh no, I knew it. I knew from when was he got weird. bit. When, when did he, he get bit? He got bit in this in when the they shed? first went out to the shed. Oh, and then he got I bit, and I knew from then. Cause then he's like a couple scenes after he got bit. What 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 bite him? Vampire? I can't remember, but like a, a couple scenes after he got bit, he was like. He like coughed or sneezed or something, and I'm like, oh yeah, oh, oh my god, I missed that part. I'm like that thing definitely pies in up, pies in them up, just pies in them. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. So I'm like, whatever that the thing that bite him definitely pies in up his bloodline. So I'm telling you, that was a Jamaican mosquito. So oh <laughs> my gosh, so yeah, I knew. So I knew when his teeth were falling on. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that whatever that thing was. Mm-hmm. They said it was probably Lyme disease or something like that. Oh, so it was like a cyber attack, and then like, what do you call that one? With the, the, um, medical warfare. Biological. Biological attack too. But I don't know if that was attack from them. I think that was just him being unfortunate to, to run up in something. So that did bit did him. Mahershala know it was Lyme disease or whatever disease he was having? I don't know. Somebody pointed it out though. Can't oh. remember who. Cause, cause I was trying to figure out if they don't know what's happening to him. Why did? And this is where Kevin Bacon comes into play now, because they didn't know what was happening to the kid, so they decide to drive to like a, a Trump supporter to f- try to figure out what was going on. They were trying to get medicine. Yeah, but how are you gonna get medicine if you don't know what? You know what I mean? I think they were just shooting in the dark. They're like, he has medicine. We just need to get something because we can't get in town. So, so just any pa- any pad on, any panadol would do. Yeah, they're just like, let's just find something penis penniless. Penicillin. penicillin or something like <laughs> whatever just find something you know so that's why they were there and then on top of that the the girl went missing mm. the little girl oh yeah missing. so while, while before they went the girl went missing too so yeah. julia roberts and um mahershala's daughter decided to to look for her to look for the girl okay so this is where like i checked the timer on the movie i'm like wait this is about to finish in 30 minutes what is going on? <laughs> Still no answers. It's like it's like the phone I ring on nobody now pick up. <laughs> it's like what is like hello? Yeah, yeah. At that point, I was just like I was I didn't check the timer. I wasn't checking the timer on, on the on the on the, the movie. Yeah. So I wasn't I didn't know that it was gonna end so soon. Mm-hmm. So I was still very much engaged, like, okay, like, okay, what's gonna happen next? Uh, like, no, where I, are they I gonna look for the girl? Because one after that, that um dancing scene, I'm like, bro, what, what the hell am I watching? So I checked to see, like, oh. um, do what I think? Did I think he was gonna actually gonna shoot him? Mm-hmm. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't, but I just didn't. I don't think I had a really reason in my head to think that, mm-hmm. but I just didn't feel like he was gonna actually shoot him. I didn't I didn't too but like at the same time again I was still ch- caught up in trying to figure out okay something is happening I know it's some sort of like invasion but what sort of invasion what's going on so at that time I was thinking that something was going to come out of the bushes or something mm. and then they were going to be on the same side or help each other out so I did not know, and at the same time, Julia Roberts and like my girl, 
they were in the bush with the the, the big goat them, the deer them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were in the bush with the goat them, and then all the deer started staring at um, staring Mah at them. Mahersha's daughter, and I was just confused. I'm like, okay, what is going on with these deers? Like, was it a symbolism for something? Yeah, that part I didn't get. Like, that's why I was saying I feel like they were conflating too many different ideas or genres mm -hmm. because why were the deer staring at them and what was like i didn't get why the deer was staring at them and watching them and yeah because it, it i didn't i really didn't get that part is it confused that's why I'm, I'm saying it confused me a little bit about like what what action were we gonna get and again i don't mean like fight in action i mean like what are we leading to is this humans? It is. Is it this? Is it paranormal activities? Is it aliens? Like, I was just like, okay, I think we're here now. Like, okay, we're gonna get the big reveal of like what's actually going on. So yeah. when he got in the car, and he started talking about like the different type of warfare, I think he was talking about. Mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, okay, like, all right, we're gonna get there. All right. My, I was like all tuned in now. I'm like, all right, perfect. Mm -hmm. I think I'm ready now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Took took two hours. <laughs> <laughs> took two hours, but yo, sometimes Kipling to, to Kennedy is not a, not a short ride. So I'm like, all right, <laughs> we're there now. And then your favorite part of the movie comes after this. <laughs> My favorite part. Yeah, your favorite part with um when they um, I guess after Julia Roberts and. And after Julia Roberts scared away the deers <laughs> by yelling, yeah, <laughs> the deers were looking at her like, well, what's wrong with this white woman? <laughs> like, after she scared away the deers, and they, I guess they're walking back, and it pans up to like the city, like there's smoke coming from the city. Yeah, bad CGI again. Yeah, smoke coming from the city, and it goes to like this bigger house that's in the middle of nowhere as well. Right, and we find the look of gal, the look of Pitney. Yeah, like, like, I think the ending was... Everybody, everybody looking for... This reminded me of something that happened in real life where back home where, like, people are looking for this kid. Look look for him. And all along, picking their game shop. So all along, everybody's looking for this girl and she's out here looking, eating cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, she's perfectly fine. In her mansion, eating conflicts. Yeah, which also I didn't understand because the night before, she's giving one big long monologue in the bed about how she, people, um, how God is, you know, when she gave that analogy about, mm -hmm. oh, God, um, about I think the man that was like, the, the place was flooding uh -huh. and the place, the guy was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a man of faith. I'm waiting on God to send rescue. And then a helicopter came and da 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 da. Mm -hmm. And then when he finally died, he's like, God, why, why didn't you help me? And he's like, oh, well, I sent the helicopter and I sent this and I sent this, 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 this. Yeah. And so she used that analogy to, I guess, to say that she, she shouldn't be sitting around. Like, they shouldn't be sitting around. Like, mm. God is sending them signs or whatever. Wait, so, she, the kids said that? Yes, you don't remember the the whole big long dotty monologue she said the night before to her mom. I, she was she was losing me again again because so, I thought it was something wrong with her. No, that was the monologue she was saying, and then so she was saying that to kind of be like, oh, why are we still here? Like we shouldn't be still here. We should be like so God is on. giving us a signs that we need to like move or go or do I did, something. I didn't so, know she was Noah. So <laughs> then she was like, okay, well I'm gonna do something. That's what she said the night before, and and then. The morning she was gone. Mm -hmm. So when they finally found her, I'm thinking, okay, did, it, did they find her? They didn't find her. Well, no. They, when, when we, we oh, yeah, the as audience, the yeah, audience yeah. found her, I'm thinking, okay, like she's gone out hunting to try to go look for help or something, you know, because she's giving this big long monologue about how they need to go find help and da 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 da. da. Mm. But the girls they're eating conflicts. Conflicts. And, and and candy and all this stuff. I'm just like, okay, oh like, God. what the heck? So I was like, that was a little bit weird and Big didn't make weird. sense. And then it didn't make sense. And then she she found the, the heard a sound from the basement. I think no, she so 
her mom, when they when they saw the house, are calling her name, calling her name. So she hears them calling her name, and she's about to walk out to go, I guess, greet them. Did but she? I didn't hear she, that part. She heard them. She heard them calling her name. Right. She was about to go walk out to greet them, and as she was walking by, she saw the hallway and like the light coming from the basement, and she decided that, oh, I want to go check that out instead, I guess, instead of going to meet my mom that's calling me. And so she went down the hallway mm-hmm. to go see, to investigate the light coming yeah. from the basement. And then that was a, been, that was a sick basement, by the way. Yeah, that's, that was a, that's when they discovered. Was it a basement or more like a was it a, it's bunker? a bunker? That's when they discovered yeah, yeah, yeah. That the was bunker. A, a bunker, like a sick bunker. And by the way, we didn't mention the, throughout the whole movie she'd been complaining about how she didn't get a chance to finish watching her friends' episodes. And th- that, maybe that's why I don't like her in this show. Because like, who watches Friends? She does apparently. Because apparently those are her only friends. We get, we get what uh, I did there? No, they did not. Those were her only friends. Cause no, her, they did not. She said they her did brother that? doesn't like her and whatever. Oh, yeah, because the whole movie she was... What's up? What, what happened to Ross and Rachel? Do you, do you think Ross and Rachel or whatever? She, yeah, that was her thing. She was very invested in their life. So she was just bummed out that the power went out and everything internet went out. So she wasn't able to figure out what happened to Ross and Rachel. So when she went downstairs to the bunker and discovered the bunker, then she realized the... The bunker stock with a whole bunch of DVDs, DVDs and shows and all this stuff. And she saw that Friends was there. And then she went to pop it in and watch. I think, what, what was the name of the last show? The last show was um, How It Ends? Is that the, the, the episode? Oh, I can't remember the name. I think so. I think the episode was like named, titled How It Ends. But she goes, she goes to watch it and then um, the movie ends. The... Worst ending I've seen in a movie. I this year. was pissed because I feel like it was such a cop out. Why? I feel like it was such a cop out because they did all this building up, building up, building up, building up, and it's almost like they couldn't figure out how to end it mm. without it going another like three three hours. Mm. So they just ended it. D- it's funny you should say that. Funny we found out that this guy is the person who did Mr. Robot because Mr. Robot season one, the whole build up. I don't. You see Mr. Robot season no. one? No. You haven't seen it? No. It was pretty good. I just it, season two was just a drag. It just went. I don't remember it. So the build up, the build. So basically, Mr. Robot. Quick short synopsis is about. Um, I don't know the political correct term for him. So he's an IT guy. But he's kind of weird, and he suffers from like memory loss, mm-hmm. and he has, forgive me for saying, like split personalities type of thing going on. Where, going on basically. Mm-hmm. So throughout the whole season, like he'll wake up randomly and like be somewhere else and be like, "Yo, what the hell's going on?" Mm-hmm. Or whatever. So, but he's like a anti whatever anti not anti for like V for Vendetta type situation, like okay. against the man. Okay. So basically, in the end of season one, um, the leading up to the big shebang, the big big thing that was gonna happen, they did whatever they were supposed to do, and then he blank he blanks out mm-hmm. the day that everything happened. So we, the audience, see that everything happened, but we don't know how it happened. Right. And one of the main characters in the movie that was on the opposing side. He switched teams in the last episode to help it happen because it was going to benefit him. And then we didn't see him at all for the start of the next season. Mm. So I get that he's the director for this type of movie because I felt the same way. Like, you led us all the way up to here and then... Just dropped the ball. You ended it with a DVD. Copy copy DVD player. Yeah, I I thought it was a really big... Yeah, it was. It just didn't make sense. Like, it just it didn't make sense that they ended it on that note, because it's like you. I feel like the movie was trying to tell so many different different narratives. It was trying to tell so many different things. So why did they choose the narrative of the fact that the daughter wanted to finish watching Friends mm-hmm. as the final sticking point? Like, what does like, it symbolize? Oh, she finally got to watch Friends. The end. Yeah, like, what does it symbolize? Like, like I didn't get that. And like I said, I feel like 
they had so much going on and they had took so long like the movie's almost what three hours right too long the I movies the movie i feel like it was like two hours and something two uh, runtime was two hours 12 minutes so the movie's like two hours and and that's the runtime so the whole thing was 221 so it's like they spent two hours building up or trying to get people to figure out what was going on for two hours two blood clot hours and then they finally revealed to us within the last like 10 minutes of the film what the heck was going on and then they just dropped it yeah they showed the whole city on fire and we're like oh i'm like look at like literally i was like i was like glued i'm like oh what's going on like from the kevin bacon showing up to that part i was glued i was like literally like sitting like looking and then when you go to the, the end i'm like bro what the f-? yeah i feel like this would probably would have been better served as a mini series they probably should have mm. made this a mini series versus trying to make this into a feature film because i feel like they just had so much that they wanted to say mm. they should have just made this into a limited series mm. a limited series so that way they can actually have time to properly develop the storylines because i feel like they had a lot there that they could have worked with mm. But could they still do that? I don't know. I mean, they could. The way that it ended, they definitely could. But I don't know if they will. You know, Netflix, they're going to find a way to bring this back. Like, you see what they're doing to Squid Games. But so, Squid Games is great. So they could they could find a way to, to, you know, Hollywood. They literally ended the movie, like, in the middle of, you, you know, like a storyline. You see a storyline, yeah. beginning, middle, and end. They literally ended the movie in the middle. That's what it felt like. That's what I'm saying, and that's why I felt like I, I didn't get fulfilled from this movie, and that's why I'm like, yo, I don't think it was good because of that. Like, it's the concept and everything is good. Yeah. Like, the score, the good, good. That's, we can even talk about the cinematography. You, you're more expert on that one. It was good, in my opinion, based on what I was seeing. The way they play around with colors. Like, if you remember, like, the dining room um, scene mm-hmm. where, like, I'm not a full camera person. But like every time, every way, every time they pan the camera, there was that orange light behind them mm. in every single frame. Mm-hmm. And I love the way that they like did that dialogue between Mahershala and like whoever he was talking to. There was mm-hmm. always that like kind of reminded me. I never watched this movie, but not that movie. Um, he did another movie where the lighting was just like that. Kind of even reminded me of like how they did the lighting in Snowfall. I don't know if you watched that. Mm-mm. No, but I really like how they everything about it the direction and everything it just like it just fell flat yeah it's, it's flat at the start they gave you some interesting moments you're like oh shit what's going on and then it just i don't know i liked it because like i said i liked it up until the end mm-hmm. i liked it because i felt like it was going somewhere i just feel like it they ended it abruptly like i said totally i feel U-turn. like they just ended it in the middle of the storyline. Mm. They could definitely do a part two because we still need to know. Yeah, like, they, okay, they so they found the bunker. They, yeah. they found the bunker now. Okay, so are they all going to move into the bunker? What's going to happen? Or are it's like are the people that are trying to attack them, are they going to find them? I, are more people going to come? Like, there's, I feel like there's a lot more they can they, do. I think they would do a part two, but I think they will do it more like a prequel or like a side story kind of like how they did um remember quiet place they might do it from they might do it from the mo- the the wife's perspective yeah oh the one that's on the yeah and and that Mahershala's too. wife and the one that's on the plane yeah cuz we we still don't know what happened to her so that's still a whole she, another storyline that gone. they could write she gone remember he was we, we don't know though we actually don't know were like two planes crash but we don't know though we actually don't know. Two, that's two the thing. Two crash. But we don't know. They never said it. So oh, that's yeah. why they could still do a story from her perspective because we actually don't know. It's never been confirmed from what her, happened to her. From her perspective, based on how they did this movie, she's going to join the Maha Club. Because it's her man that was waiting on the ground find our next white woman. So she's going to be in the plane find our next white man too. Is this how it goes? Our black man. Like... <laughs> the random moments <laughs> I'm telling you I don't know I feel like this would have been better served as a limited series because that way then they would have had time yeah. 
to four, properly four episodes, no. properly explore the story properly. Is there is there a movie that you would compare it to? Because I I say old, or like M Night Shyamalan. Type I wouldn't of compare it to old. Um, in terms of like, actually, I think old has a better ending. And people don't like. I old. mean, old has a more complete ending, from what I remember. I, I haven't. It's been a while since I watched this. I can't fully remember. Might watch it today because I can't fully remember. I, it. I like old, but like, is there another movie that you'll see like had a a worse ending in recent memory? Because mm. I can't think of any off the top. No. And like I said, the only way that this movie can make up for it is if they have a part two. two. So you think they should definitely They can have a part two. Because the only other movie that I could remember that made me get really angry at the ending, but at the at the same time, like I knew there was going to be a part two. So mm-hmm. even though I was angry... I wasn't super angry because I knew there was going to be a part two. Was mm-hmm. Infinity War, like how Infinity War ended. You're mad at the end of the Infinity War? Yeah, because I'm like, what the heck happened? What do you mean half of the people are gone? And they just ended it like that. Uh, did, you, did you read the comics? No. Oh. So I was like, what the heck? Half the people are gone. I wasn't I was, upset, but I'm I like, was, uh... I wasn't mad. No, I wasn't mad. I was just like, what? Like, what the heck? And then I knew, because you know Marvel, you know you're going to have to wait another year and a half before the next one comes out. It's always, out. The, the last movie is always split in two. From, like, I noticed from, like, Harry Potter. So I, just, I expected it to be, like, in a two-part. And I think I was just I was annoyed because I'm like, damn, now I'm going to have to wait a year and a half to figure out what happened. But happens. this this annoyance is different. It's like, damn, like, what is this ending? And we probably will never get another part. Right. Like I said, we don't know if they're mm. going to bring a part two or, or not. So that's why I'm just like... What the heck? So, what rating would you... We're going to wrap up now. What rating would you give this? Like, how do they do the ratings in Hollywood? I was... And also, one last thing. Apparently, there's, like, some oh, satanic yeah. symbolism. I was going to ask, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, about, what do you think about the symbolisms? I mean, I didn't understand why they had to have a 666 there. Where was the 666? I missed this. At the beginning, opening scene... There was the 666. Yeah, well, Mr. Obama, we had So the cup, they had a 76ers cup. Uh-huh. But the way, so the seven was like in blue. Uh-huh. The six was in white. But since because it was like against like a dark wall or like a blue wall, oh. it's kind of, so only the six really popped. Sixers. Oh. And then they had the analog clock beside uh-huh. it. The clock was set to like six o'clock, uh-huh. I think. I think the clock. What was do you think they were trying to say? I don't know. And then they had a digital clock, so I don't know why they needed an analog clock and a digital clock. Then they had a digital clock, and have something was covering most of the digital clock. The only part of the digital clock you could see was the first digit, and that was a six. So that's where they were like the six 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 oh, was there. Satanic. I was like, that was weird. And then there apparently there was like a QR code. There's Is that a, real? Apparently, they say there's a QR code in in the map of, of does that. It, where does the QR that, code take you? I don't know. The guy said he couldn't. They couldn't. He it was too blurry for him to see. But I'm pretty sure somebody Did with some high it? tech. Is gonna clear clarify it <laughs> and see where the QR code takes them. Probably take you to Amazon to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> or take you to some secret cryptic <laughs> underworld. In, in like conclusion, like conclusion, if I'm gonna rate it, um, overall storyline, I'll rate it a six out of ten. Yeah, um, cinematography and sound design, all that, all that stuff, I rate it uh, eight point five. So the overall movie, what do you get with like a seven? I can't. Yeah. Sure. You don't have to rate it. You don't have to rate it. You have to be to be determined. To be determined. You have to sit with it longer. Yeah. I don't. This movie was a two out of ten. Um, cinematography. Uh, what's the cinematography again? Like what you were talking about. Or oh, the, the lighting. The lighting and all that stuff. What you see on screen. How oh, they angle. Phenom- Yo, the, everything about the, cinem- the angles it was was phenomenal. The shots. I, the shots. The um, colors. The way they. Yo, that was fire. Like you, you guys did a good job. The writing, like the storytelling, uh, 
it could have been good. It could have had a lot of potential. Yeah, that's what's the frustrating. You were trying to, you know, those movies that's trying to be deep, but it's just like you're not deep, deep, but you're still you're just confusing deep. Yeah, it's like they're trying to use double entendres and it's not hitting. And Christopher Nolan's, you know, don't do that. Te- no, but I love his stuff. Te- tenant, um, but tenant was tenant too was much. Fire. No. I watched. Oh my! I can't. We're gonna have to do a tenant review because that was fire. Tenant, I could not. I think I watched that. But movie I'm, like I'm gonna times. watch it again. I only I watched watch it, it once. Tenant was fire, except for like the whole. Oh, there's a red string on his bag, and his, <laughs> yo, yo. I did not under- understand tenant one. Is bit. he the future? Is he the past? Is he the not present? Not one bit. Yo, we, we're gonna have to find another Christopher Nolan film to, to do. Oppenheimer. I haven't watched it yet, but it's it's based on real life. I don't know if I want to. You watched it? Yeah. Okay. Let us know in the comments if you want us to to review something else again. Um, if From was on, I think we would have both like to review From. Um, could be a TV show. Could be a movie. Could be a music video. They don't make music. Videos I can't wait till season three of From comes out. Isn't it delayed? Probably all all of them are delayed because of the strike. What what before we wrap up? What movies or TV shows you're looking forward to watching? From from anything else? Squid Game Two. When does that come out? Don't know, but whenever that comes out, Squid Game Season Two. Squid Game Two. Uh, anything else? The Boys Season Four. The Boys. I still haven't watched. Only uh, because I'm in one episode. Talk about it. And um. What else? What else are you in? Um, what else am I looking forward to? I'm looking My forward. show that eventually comes out, by God's grace. Talk about it. What's the name of it? I'm not going to say. Oh, you can't say now. But you'll know. You guys will know. I'm looking forward to finishing Raising Canaan. I'm a Negro. I like Negro shows. Yeah. Raising Canaan. I wish, I wish, um... And hopefully Jonathan Majors, you know, gets back into... His stuff, so we should can we, should see we? more of him. <laughs> this might have to be a separate video. But we, I would we, love to see him again more. I don't more know, maybe we'll stuff. do a separate video on Jonathan Majors. But anyways, um, I don't know what we're calling this. This will be on the Man Don't Care podcast feed, um, just as a to get y'all to listen. Who knows? There might be more of these in the future. I don't know. But let us know if you want this to be like a separate. Um, oh, no, show it, it all together. Separate. It will be separate, like but... a separate podcast and everything yeah. all together. If y'all want it, I'll do it. Would you do it? Yeah, because I love movies. And then you guys can give us a name. I don't know. Give us a name for it. I'll name the spot. No, I can't see that. That's Joe Wooden. I stole it. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I am Ron Oxdale Poppy, Crystal, and we're out. <laughs>